Sarah Bolander and I'm a research technician with the Chiswell Island Stellar Sea Lion Remote Video Monitoring Project. It's a mouthful, but it's cool. <laughs> Our research is very important because it's been going on for over 20 plus years and we are studying an endangered species. One of the main things of our project is observance without disturbance, which can be sometimes difficult when one of our cameras breaks or anything. So when we go out on the island to fix it, we are trying to create the least amount of disturbance as we can. and. The first step is just getting on the island, which in and of itself is usually the most challenging part. So I'm guessing the plan is to get off here? Yep. Okay. Yep. No ties, so we gotta be careful. Okay. The island itself um, at low tide can be very slippery, um, but once you get up above that kelp on the drier rock, then you start to climb up. And that's another fun part. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole there. So some of the things that we fix out there are broken cords, swapping out batteries, swapping out switches, making sure that generators, both wind and solar, are working properly. We do a lot of work in the field, but most of the time we are in the office and we are constantly monitoring these stellar sea lions so then we can know who's coming back every single year. And the way we identify these sea lions is through scars, fungal patches, unique flippers. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> this year we had over 120 females that we know by name. And so we scan the island looking for every single female and we write down what she's doing, if her pup's with her, what the pup is doing, and her pelage condition. Our main focus is during the pupping and breeding season where we're constantly scanning. We want to catch every birth and as many copulations as we can so then we know what this population is doing. 